Hello, I'm your host Javier Beltran and we're live from Sports Broadcasting Center at Play-by-Play -play Sports Broadcasting Camps. I'm here with my partners, Zach Kasner, Nick Mitchell, and we are presenting to you the JNZ Show. If you want to call in to talk about our top subjects with us, the phone number is 555-760-8672. Today we're going to discuss the NBA awards from last night and the MVP for football. And now on to the NBA awards. Of course, the big one of them all, the MVP. What are your guys' thoughts on James Harden winning the MVP over LeBron James? Um, I feel like LeBron deserved it a little bit more because he was able to play with a team that is a little bit below what James Harden had to play with. James Harden had a supporting cast. I feel like LeBron James didn't have that much of one. Yeah, that's a very good answer. How about you? I think... James Harden deserved to win the MVP. I mean, at LeBron, it could have been a close call either way. But, I mean, James Harden had to go through the Warriors, and although he lost, he lost to them in seven. So, I mean, he went the distance and just couldn't get one more game done. But, I mean, he had a good, pretty, pretty good season. Also. I mean, I kind of agree with Nick and that LeBron, he basically didn't really have the supporting cast. I mean, he carried a so-called top team in the East when they – didn't even live up to their expectations. I mean, LeBron went all the way to the finals, although he did get swept. I mean, people are, are saying that the broken hand is a big excuse, and they don't even know if, like, he was faking it intentionally or something like that. But other than that, I mean, that is a pretty good reason for both of them to win. I mean, I think that he, it wasn't rigged that James Harden won, but, um, it, it was good that he won. It's nice to see how the Oklahoma City Thunder should have kept him and how the theory of that if he kept him just gets way better. Um, but uh, what about the Rookie of the Year? Do you think Ben Simmons is really a rookie or do you think Donovan um, should have won? Well, according to the definition that's been going all around Twitter, uh, yeah, Ben Simmons technically is a rookie, but I feel like that he didn't technically deserve it. I mean, like... Donovan Mitchell was a super low pick and super underrated coming into this draft. He wasn't a Markel Fultz. He wasn't a Jason Tatum. He was so underrated, and then he just went out of his mind and won the slam dunk contest as a rookie. Well, everyone knew he was going to be good. There was just questions about what he could do. If, yeah. he, if he could get stuff done. He had the skill. They just didn't trust him enough. But Ben Simmons is technically a rookie. It is his first year of playing, so it's a rookie. You got a phone call. Hello. Hey, I'm Chris in Baltimore. Well, everyone talks about Ben Simmons. He, oh, he won Rookie of the Year, even though he missed his first year. But didn't Blake Griffin do kind of do the same thing? No one really talked to him. You know, no one complained about that, really. So, you know, what's the difference, honestly? Um, I, I guess you have a point. I mean... I mean, Ben Simmons, also the fact that, like, he was always, like, he, well, I see your point. I know where you're going with that. But the fact is, is that Ben Simmons, he was going in, he was a little bit, he had way more experience than everyone else. So I feel like the fact that he didn't really... And Blake didn't really communicate with his teammates. He wasn't at every single one of the games. According to Ben Simmons, he was at around 70 out of the 82 games. So Blake Griffin didn't necessarily get a feel for it. So he kind of gave it a little bit of an even match. I feel like Donovan Mitchell was the one who brought up the rookie thing. It would have never really gotten brought up unless he made such a big deal out of it. He was the one that brought attention to it. And I feel like... It wouldn't have been such a big debate if it was never brought up by the other person. I feel like that's what kind of made it all like back and forth, back and forth about if he's a rookie or not. It kind of all got started from that one sweatshirt. What are your thoughts on Defensive Player of the Year, guys? I don't think he should have won it. You don't think Gobert should have won it? It, it was close. I mean, it could have gone either way. So. Personally, I think Anthony Davis should have won it. I mean, Anthony Davis is an athletic freak. 
he was also in the MVP, he was also third in the MVP voting. So I mean, the fact that he was able to carry the Pelicans' momentum after DeMarcus Cousins towards Achilles halfway through the season. It's just insane and just like what he's been doing at such a young age. He's only 23 years old. And I feel like that he has a super bright future ahead. Yeah. Now it's the most improved. What are your thoughts on Victor Oladipo being he most did, improved? He deserved it. Yeah. He, he had a huge year coming off of being what some would call him bust almost being drafted and then he came out and did that this year after leaving his other team that's a pretty good answer um i personally think that oladipo should have won it as well i mean going off from the slam dunk contest as well i mean exploding like no one ever would thinking that it was such a horrible trade for the pacers why would you do that for paul george I think that now it paid off, and Victor Oladipo showed that, yes, I am worth the, of the third pick. And now on to the NFL predictions. Um, for MVP, who do you guys have winning next year? Uh, I don't really know. Probably Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. I think Aaron Rodgers can do it if he stays healthy this year instead of getting hurt again. I personally have a non-quarterback. I have Julio Jones winning the MVP this year. Julio Jones being such a great athletic freak this year and always such a reliable target for one of the best offenses in the NFL. And I feel like you can never go wrong with such a solid receiver in Julio Jones. All right, that will do it all for today here on the JNZ Show, reporting live from Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Javier Beltran, along with my partners. Zach Kasmer. Nick Mitchell. And we are off.